My name is Dakota Norman. I work for the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office in Norman, Oklahoma, in the jail division. Overcrowding is a big, a big issue now in Oklahoma, especially in Oklahoma. Uh, prisons are becoming full. That backs up the jails. That slows up the court process. It's very important to disperse inmates out to an equal number of people. Um, keeps the officer safety down. And it keeps people from from getting hurt. In an instance that I felt unsafe, we fought an inmate for close to 10 minutes. In that 10 minutes, he struck me in the face five times, another officer three, and another officer one. In that five punches, he gave me a concussion that I had to fight through until we were finished. In the state of Oklahoma, it's the Oklahoma legislature who, who budgets for our government and the, those services that government provides. The Oklahoma legislature, the legislature is comprised of the House of Representatives and the Senate. We need to make sure that we adequately budget for our prison system because it's our prison system that ensures the safety of our citizens. It also ensures that those that we can adequately punish and put away those folks who have been convicted of crimes in the state of Oklahoma. With a proper budget, we can make sure that we have adequate facilities and we can make sure that we can man those facilities with the proper number of employees to make sure that the, the prison facility is run in a way that not only ensures the safety of uh, the citizens of our state, but also of those who work in those facilities and also the prisoners themselves. So my uncle went to jail about four or five months ago. Um, he was pulled over in what I assume was just a routine traffic stop, whatever, and was imprisoned officially for drug trafficking. Um, I believe it was meth. I'm not 100% sure, but I worry about his safety because... I know that the jails in Oklahoma and anywhere really are very understaffed because of what I assume to be underpayment or just too many bodies for every correctional officer to take care of. But there are people dying every day in jails, you know, of natural circumstances, but also because of being beaten up or malnutrition or just lots of different things and if I'm not saying that that isn't something that would happen even if there were enough correctional officers or there were enough staff or whatever but I think that being understaffed has something to ha plays a factor because it, there aren't enough people to take care of everybody I don't agree with the way that Oklahoma's jails are ran and I think that something needs to be done about it.